During the 20th century, more than 100 million human beings were killed by other human beings. Today in the 21st century, more than one billion people around the world still suffer from hunger. Why is this so? We all have two hands. Hands that can give life to people and hands that can cause death to people. We believe that as human beings, we have the wisdom and ability to control what we do. We can put down our weapons and put both our hands together to offer a prayer of respect. Respect for the lives of all human beings. In fact, we can, if we wish, save those lives. Arms Down. This campaign led by youth from the world's religions will work to engage religious leaders and believers around the world to advance disarmament for shared security. Our campaign has three goals. To abolish nuclear weapons. To stop the proliferation and misuse of conventional weapons. And redirect 10% of military expenditure to make the achievement of the UN Millennium Development Goals possible by 2015. If we had access to even 10% of the world's military expenditure of about $1.4 trillion, we could provide education to all children, we could solve medical problems like HIV AIDS, and we could save all children from poverty. Religions for Peace is the largest international coalition of representatives from the world's great religions dedicated to promoting peace. Religions for Peace is active on every continent and in some of the most troubled areas of the world, creating multi-religious partnerships to confront our most dire issues, stopping war, ending poverty, and protecting the earth. The Religions for Peace Global Youth Network is advancing this campaign. It is reaching out to international organizations, governments, national assemblies and parliaments, municipalities, media, and all men and women of goodwill. How can you take action? Start by signing the Arms Down Petition. It asks governments to redirect 10% of their military expenditure toward achievement of the MDGs. Signed petitions will be delivered to the United Nations Secretary General, the permanent members of the Security Council, as well as to heads of state and members of parliament in your country. Please sign the petition on our website. Your signature can make a change. Let's act together.